Ho, what up guys? Welcome back to another one. And I wanted to open this video up. I'm actually recording this today that the video drops. Uh, I wanted to give you guys a little message before we got into today's Thought Friday. First off, the winner of the pumpkin carving contest is Maria Day. Check out this photo. Holy smokes. How do you even carve something remotely this good? I carved one and actually tried to make a video, but it was so bad that I didn't even post it. So, uh, yeah, my pumpkin was bad. My daughter's actually came out looking better than mine, but just been busy with hunting so much that I wasn't even able to post that video. So, winner, shout out to Mar Maria Day. Heck of a job. Holy smokes, you are talented and you need to do that for a living or something, man. I'm serious. So, we just ended another 48 hour sale on a hat. Not this one in particular, but on another one that's not available anymore. If you guys missed out on that 40 hour sale, man, I am sorry. We may try to bring it back maybe in a month if we we're able to. The reason that we do these 48 hour sales, guys, is that a lot of these products, just like real colorful products, now you see this, this is just our normal, you know, one color design. But the high color, the multiple color, you know, whether it's t-shirts, look like I said, just one color. The multiple color t-shirts, hoodies, hats, all that stuff, we're really only able to do a run of them. We're just not able to put out a, a ton of that stuff, you know, all the time. We just can't do colorful stuff all the time. So that's why we do these 48 hour sales is just to offer them to you guys for the limited amount of time. Usually it's two days only or until we run out of stock. So when they're available, you guys have to go snatch them up. We're gonna try to do a 48 hour sale run, one a week or one every two weeks. So be looking out for these awesome designs that are only be available limited time. Let's get into today's foul Friday. Oh, ho, ho. listen. That is a strong north wind blowing these trees behind me. And let me tell you what, it feels wonderful outside. It feels amazing outside, let me rephrase. But a lot of you guys, your seasons have been open or they're just not opening or they're gonna open here in early November. So I figured it'd be a good idea to make a video over single and double read calls. This is something with uh, you know, beginners, it's easy to get frustrated and say, oh, I don't know which one to buy, especially if you're going to buy a somewhat expensive one. You know calls, you can go to Walmart, you can spend $30 and have you a, a decent call for even a couple years. That's what I did. I used Walmart calls for a long time, and I probably still would if I just didn't have these. I, I really don't care, but calls are $30, $40, $50, $80, $100, depending on how expensive and how much money you're willing to spend. So, when deciding on a call, it's ex it's important to know what you want. And a double and single read, there are differences and there in my preference there is a better one for beginners to get. You know me, I am no call expert. I don't pretend to be a call expert. But I think I do have some good advice for especially you beginners out there. If you notice, I don't have my goggles on today. I went and got some new contacts. So, you're going to be seeing old Bobby not looking so uh, geeky. I don't know. Goggle-ish. It's nice being able to uh, not wear glasses for once. But, yeah. So, guys, I do have a double read and a single read. This is that new one that a subscriber actually sent in. By the way, if you're wanting to send any subscriber, mail, calls, duck hunting, goose hunting related, pictures, drawings, uh, you know, pictures of you and your group holding up piles, this is all going to be a, uh, just a Bobby Guy Films memorabilia wall. So, send all that stuff to right here I opened a P.O. box. Do it and I will, I'd love to do more unboxings here on the channel of uh, stuff from you guys. But like I was saying, we have a double read, we have a single read. This is an old call. I've had this for probably three years. This thing is brand new. So obviously there's gonna be a big difference with the read. See, this one's been, you know, it's just used a bunch more. It's not gonna be as new and crisp as this one. So, just gonna do a little difference here, a little sound bite difference. Now, 
mind you, I'm not used to this one. Has I have not blown this one very much, but I do love it. Uh, it's gonna take me some while to get this thing down, but this thing is crisp. Now, just to uh, give my two cents on double and single read differences. Uh, now, obviously, you could you could hear a difference there. Whichever one you liked, comment down below. Drop it down below and let me know. But my my idea of the difference of double to single is a double is going to be easier for beginners. I recommend most beginners to start with a double read. Uh, my preference, and like I said, I'm not a professional, but this is just my two cents, is that the double read gives you a little more leeway. Uh, the single is going to be very, very sharp in tone. So what you do with your tongue, what you do with your mm -hmm, your voice, and the amount of air you project is going to show up a lot sooner and a lot faster with the single read. Now that being said, a lot of avid callers do blow a single read because you can do a lot with it. Especially when you get a good one, you can do almost exactly what you want to do and it's it's not as forgiving as this. So when you learn tongue placement, air and all that, you can just hone a, a single read in when you get, uh, what what's the word, like you know the muscle memory in your mouth like you know the muscle memory in your tongue the muscle memory and just everything going on a, a, a single read let me find my words here bob come on now a single read is just a lot more accurate a lot more professional i guess but a double read is a lot more is, is a bit more not a lot a bit more forgiving allows you just to it, it's i think it's just easier to blow it sounds, it's, let, let me put it this way. I'm getting all tongue-tied. I'm losing my words. I would say a double read is easier to make sound good, if that makes any sense whatso freaking ever. A single read, when you learn it and you have that muscle memory in your mouth, your jaw, your tongue, you can make it sound amazing. But if you're a beginner and you're learning how to blow, your, that sounded awful, your tongue, how to use your tongue, all that stuff, your voice, how you project it, and the air you blow, a double read is going to be easier to make sound better. That being said, I'm not hating on the single read because I love this thing. I'm going to be practicing my butt off and trying to make this sound better. Double read is easier to make sound good. A single read, I suggest, is for the more avid callers, the ones that's been blowing a little more. I've, I've, I've been hunting and, and blowing a call for a long time. I'm just now picking up, which was sent to me by one of you guys, a single read expensive call. This is a $100 call, so I got to learn how to blow that thing. I Like I say, I'm not a professional, but this is just my two cents. But for all of you guys that have not picked up a duck's lanyard yet, this is our cheaper one. This is the Lil Fella Freedom Lanyard. And this bad boy we just got back in stock. So go pick one up before they are gone yet again. Oh, just thinking back. I probably butchered this video, but I am glad that you guys are here. I'm glad you guys are watching. I hope this made some sense. I hope my two cents wasn't just garbage, but... Let me know down in the comments any good advice that you guys have for beginners and, you know, for avid callers as well. If I miss something that's a really big difference in single and double read calls, drop it down below. I blew a Walmart call forever. It was for a long time. I had no shame in it. Still killed ducks. They do. They still call in ducks. They still kill ducks. Don't feel ashamed in using cheap products. Just don't. But I want to thank you guys for watching. Give me a thumbs up if you like these type of how-to how -to videos. Sorry, I try to keep them simple. I don't like to get too in-depth on things that really just don't matter. So, drop me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. Have a good one. Peace. Yeah. Guala, 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 guala. I'm living like it's no tomorrow. Don't know my style, won't let you borrow. You're thirsty, have a glass of water. I'm killing these beasts, I'll be more dead. I put my 